Hi, I'm Oksana, current president of Cambridge University Ukrainian Society. Uh, we are really happy and pleased to see that the, our university is announcing this uh, package of uh, support, uh, Cambridge University Help for Ukraine, uh, to bring Ukrainian researchers and um, students to, to the UK with their family uh, so they can uh, continue their studies and research in safe conditions. As a preeminent institution of higher education, our first thought goes out to the students and academics whose lives have been disrupted by this war. We have put together a package of initiatives called Cambridge University Help for Ukraine. To begin with, we will be hosting displaced graduate students and displaced uh, faculty members and academics and scholars uh, from around Ukraine in our departments and faculties. We will also be hosting between 20 and 30 medical students who will come to do clinical placements at Cambridge University. We are also happy that university finding ways to support the students and researchers who are still staying in Ukraine because they still have to continue their education and to develop the science um, globally for the better future of our world. With our colleagues, uh, in Cambridge University Press and Assessment, we are working on other projects including curriculum mapping uh, of Ukrainian schools and also of the schools in which displaced Ukrainian children are now studying right? so that we are able to put it back together once this war is over and the rebuilding starts of the Ukrainian educational sector. We are also looking at putting together English language courses uh, for our friends in, in Ukraine. Every single one um, student or academic which uh, Cambridge University can bring uh, here and to like support them in continuation on their studies is a huge win for the global science but also potential win for the Ukraine's future. And I'm here to tell you just how proud we all are of the way the Collegiate University has set, stepped forward uh, to help our friends and colleagues in Ukraine at this distressing time.